Just to finish out this section for our percentage problems, we're going to be doing also some different types of percentage problems where they're asking for what percentage was the increase or what percentage was the decrease. And if you read these problems correctly, there's really nothing different than that we will do to solve these. It's just what your answer is going to look like in the end. And I'll kind of show you how this works and we can kind of lay it out so it makes some sense to you here. So the question here is what is the percent decrease from 80 to 20? What is the percent decrease? Uh, so they're wondering what is the percent decrease uh, from 80 to 20 as far as what would that be and what would the percentage of that be? So the first thing we need to do is figure out what is the decrease? So if you think about it, if you go from 80 to 20, what's the decrease? Well, it's 60. It's just 80 minus 20 to get the decrease. So now what we're doing is we're trying to figure out what percentage 60 would be if we started with 80. So again, this is not too terribly tough here. 80 is going to be our 100 percentage to start with. And we have to get to 60 somehow. So again, there's tons of ways to do this. Um, I don't know, one, one way I might do is just to divide by 4 to start with. Okay, and, the, and you can do it a lot of different ways. But if I divide by 4, I get 25% and I get 80 divided by 4, which is 20. This works out great because 20, we can count up to get to 60. So we just need 3 of these and 25%. 25%. So our 60 that was the decrease is actually a 75% decrease. So our answer would be 75% for this one. 75% is a decrease from 80 down to 20. Now if they set a decrease from 80 down to 0, now obviously that would be 100% because we're taking away all 80. Now understand, I did it this way. There are so many ways to do this. I mean, I could have divided by 10 to start with on both of these. I could have divided by 2 to start with on both of these. You just need to basically come up with some combination so we can get 60 over here and see what the percentage would be on the other side. All right, next question, a little different. What is the percent increase from 120 to 400? So now we're going from 120 up to 400. So the first thing we should find out is how much is the actual increase? Well, if I just did 400 minus 120, I would get that increase. 10, 9, 10. Oop, I didn't even need to do that. Let me start that over. 400 minus 120. Well, 400 minus 100 is going to be 300, and then that would just be 280. So 280 is what I'm looking for. That's the actual increase from 120 to 400. That's what I'm looking for. So I need to figure out how am I going to get to 280. So I have 120 is going to be my starting 100%. Okay. So one thing I can do is I can use this that I started with because we have to get up to 280. So I might as well use some of these 100% here. And your answer, you should know that your answer is going to be more than 100% on this one. Because 120 is the full thing, 120 is 100%. So if we have to get up to 400, if we're getting up to 400, that increase is going to be more than 100%. So off the side here, I'll put 120 is 100%. We could do another one, 120 is 100%. So, so far, we have that 240 is 200%. I have to get up to 280 over here. So somehow I need 40 more over here to get up to 280. Uh, so there's a lot of ways I guess we could do this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just start by dividing by 10. How about? Okay. Uh, let's see. That's 10% is... That would be 12. Okay. So let's see. I'm not going to be able to get 40 more with a 12. So let's try dividing by something else here. How about we divide by 2? 
two and two. So we've got six here, and that's five percent. So we're going to have a little bit of work to do, but which is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack on a few of these here. So I'm going to tack on a 12, a 12, and a 12, which is going to be 10%, 10%, 10%. So that's going to be 230% is 240 plus 12, so that would be 36 plus 240. Uh, which is going to be 276. Now we just need four more somehow. We need to get four more. That's going to be tr pretty tricky, I think, to get four more, but I think we can make it work just fine. Um, looking what I have here, four more is going to be pretty tricky. Um, well, let's just divide by five and see what 1% is going to be. So 1%, and this is not going to come out whole, but, you know, that's not a big deal. 6 divided by 5, it's 1.2. So 1.2 uh, is going to be 1%. So I could tack on a 1.2 and a 1% and another 1.2 and a 1% and another 1.2 and a 1%. So if I add these up now, I'm going to get 279.6 equals 233%. We're really close to 280, so we could basically just say that from 120 to 400 is a 233% increase. If we can get this close, that's something that we can probably count and we could be okay with that. For this next problem, it's a little bit different. They're asking if, if we start with 12 and we do a 75% increase, what's our number going to be? So what this looks like is it's 12 plus whatever 75% is equals our number. So we want to know what's 12 going to be after we increase it by 75%. So I'm going to have to figure out what 75% is first so I know what to increase it by. So we know 12 is our starting amount, so that's our 100%. Uh, if I have to increase by 75%, that means I'm trying to get this to be 75%. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. If I divide by 4 and I divide by 4, every 3 is going to be 25%. So that means I could have 3 more is 25%. Three more is 25%. So that's going to be 9 is 75%. Well, my answer is not 9. My answer is going to be after the increase, what's it going to be? So I'm going to replace this 75% with the number 9 because that's what 75% is in this problem. So 12 plus 9 is 21. So the question is, what is 12 after I increase it by 75%? It's 21. Last example here. What is 140 after we decrease it by 15%? So basically here we're saying, what's 140 if I take away 15%? So we'll go through the same process here. 140 is 100%. We need to figure out what is 15%. Um, tons of ways we could do this here. How about I do divided by 10? And, you know, I don't care if you use a calculator for these, so if you need to try some numbers just to see what you want, it's fine. But that would be 10% equals 140 divided by 10 would be 14. Okay. So in order to get 15%, I'm going to need another 5%. So that's pretty easy to get. Divided by 2 gets me 5%. And divide that by 2 gets me 7. So we know every 7 is 5%. So I know that 14%, or not 14%, excuse me, 14 was 10%, 7 was 5%, there's 15%, there's 21. So 15% is equivalent to 
21. So I'm just going to take this 15%, get rid of it, change it to 21, because 15% is 21. We'll do the subtraction, and that would be 119. So if we have 140 and we decrease it by 15%, we end up with 119. Here are your two problems right here that we'll try just to make sure that you know what you're doing. Give these a try and then come back to the video and see how you did.